Problem 1. Ben deposited $6,500 in a simple interest account that pays 2.8% interest compounded annually. If Ben leaves the money in the account for 12 years, how much in interest will he earn? So let's write out our interest formula. A equals P parentheses 1 plus R over N raised to the N times T power. And we're going to plug in our values. Here the principal, $6,500. Parentheses 1 plus R over N. Well, R is 2.8% interest. So I'm going to move the decimal point two places to the left. So here the R is 0 0.028. And the question says the interest is compounded annually. So annually means one time a year. So our n values are going to be 1 raised to the n times t. Well, they tell you that Ben deposited the money for 12 years. So the first thing we're going to do is evaluate this expression on our calculator. Make sure you include your calculator photos on the assignment. Here, after the 12 years, Ben is going to have $9,053, and when I go to the nearest cent, the 6 kicks the 79 cents up to 80 cents. So here in the account, Ben is going to have $9,053.80. But that's not what the question is asking. The question is asking... How much in interest will he earn? Remember, the interest is the extra money that he earned. He deposited $6,500 in the bank. He now has over $9,000 in the bank. And remember, the way you calculate the interest is you take the balance, how much money is in the bank now, minus the principal, how much money you put into the bank. So that's why what we're going to do is we're going to subtract these values. You take the balance minus the principal to get the interest. So Ben has earned $2,553.80 in interest. So this is a formula that you want to write down. The interest equals the balance minus the principal. Problems two and three are related. Steph took out a simple interest loan that charges 8.5% 8 interest compounded annually. If her original loan amount was $30,000 and she's paying off the loan over 20 years, how much will she pay altogether? And then how much in interest did Steph pay? So let's write out our interest formula again. A equals P parentheses 1 plus R over N raised to the n times t power. And what we'll do is we'll consider the loan, the value of the loan, the principal. So here our principal is going to be 30,000. 1 plus the interest rate r was 8.5%. So we'll move the decimal point two places to the left. So here the r value is 0.085. The loan, the interest is annually, so N is going to be 1 for annually. And then the time in years is 20 years. So we're going to evaluate this expression on our calculator to figure out how much the loan she's going to be paying back for the 20 years. She borrowed 30000 but when you borrow 30000 you have to pay a lot more back to the bank. And it's going to be shocking when you evaluate this on your calculator. You're borrowing $30,000 at a very, very high interest rate and paying it back for 20 years. So on your calculator, you're going to be paying back $153,361.38.
that's the answer to problem two. That's how much total you're going to pay the back, paying the bank back. But how much in interest, how much extra did Steph pay back? Well, the balance, that's how much he's paying back, is $153,361.38. We're going to subtract the principal, how much money she borrowed in the first place, which was the 30000 Remember, the way you calculate the interest is you take the balance minus the principal. So when we do this subtraction, here in interest, Steph is going to be paying back $123,361.38. So that's how much in interest, how much extra, she's going to be paying back. What we want to try to do is eventually determine what the monthly payment is going to be back for when you take out a loan. That's what we're working towards. Problem five, Hector took out a small loan of $900 for 18 months. The, imp the interest rate on the loan was 10.5%, 10.5%. How much will he pay back in interest? So let's write out our interest formula. A equals P parentheses 1 plus R over N raised to the N times T power. The loan amount is going to be the principal. So here the principal is going to be $900. The interest rate R, well here the R is 10.5 percent it's a very high interest rate we're going to move the decimal point two places to the left so here the r is going to be 0 0.105 n the interest rate in terms of the payments annually is going to be one so n is one and then the time in years and here's where we have a little bit different they tell you the loan is for 18 months. Well, letter T represents the time in years. So the question is, what is our time going to be? What's our T value going to be? Well, 18 months, well, one year is 12 months. So that's going to be one and a half years. So sometimes when you do these questions, you're going to have to convert the months into years. 18 months is one and a half years. I'm going to multiply by the time of 1.5. So that's something that's different in this problem in that the loan was given to you in months. But time is always years. So let's evaluate this on our calculator. We'll plug this expression in. And we're going to be calculating the interest. Not how much Hector is going to be paying back, but how much extra he's going to be paying back. Well, here he's going to be paying back $1,045, and the 8 kicks the 40 cents up to 41 cents. So that's how much in total he's paying back. But he borrowed $900. So how much extra, how much in interest did Hector end up paying? Well, here he ended up paying $145 and 41 cents in interest. He borrowed $900. He paid that back, of course, but he ended up paying back over $1,000. So he ended up paying in interest $145.41. Remember, it's always the balance minus the principal to get your interest. And now finally, we're gonna look at a question where you have to calculate your loan payment. Kevin takes out a four-year $25,000 loan for a new car. He pays 7.5% interest for the four years. He pays his loan monthly. Calculate his monthly loan payment. Well, let's write out our interest formula and we'll plug in our 
different values. Here, the principal, how much money he's borrowing, is 25000 So the P is 25000 Here, the interest rate R is 7.5% interest. So here, we'll move the decimal point two places to the left. So the R is 0 0.075. Our N, when you calculate loans, is always 1. So when you calculate loans, your N is always 1. And here it's a 4-year loan, so our time is going to be 4 years. Remember, T is always the time in years, and here they give you the loan is for 4 years. So let's evaluate this into our calculator, and this is actually going to answer in Part B how much in total Kevin's going to be paying back. Make sure you're including your calculator photos in the assignment. So here Kevin is paying back $33,386 and the 8 kicks the 72 cents up to 73 cents. So that's the answer to part B, how much in total he's paying back for this $25,000 loan. Now, how do you calculate your monthly loan payment? Well, here's what we're going to do. The question says he's taking out a four-year loan. So we know the loan is for four years. Now, you're making monthly loan payments. So what you're going to do, since one year has 12 months, you're going to multiply the years by 12 because you're going to be taking monthly payments. You're going to be paying back every month. So here we're making a four-year loan times 12 months per year. That means you're going to be making 48 payments. So what you do is you take your years of the loan and multiply it by 12. So that gives you the number of payments. Now what you're going to do is take the $33,386.73 and you divide it by the number of payments. So you have to pay back that 33,000 number and you're paying it back in 48 payments. So you're going to take that 33,386 divided by 48, and that's going to give you your monthly payment for the loan. So that's what you do to calculate your monthly payment. You figure out how much in total you're paying back, and then you divide that by the number of payments. And that gives you your monthly payment for the loan. So your monthly payment is going to be $695.56. So that's how much you're going to be paying back per month for your loan. So you take the total you're paying back divided by the number of payments. And the way you get your number of payments is you take your years and divide it by 12. So here are some formulas you want to have in your notes. The number of payments you're making for your loan is the years of the loan times 12, because there's 12 months per year and you make 12 payments per year. And then the way you calculate your monthly payment for your loan is the total you are paying back, which was the balance, and you divide by the number of payments. So this should be the last thing that you have for your assignment.